muscle has weakened. The most common cause for weakening of the heart muscle is related to coronary artery disease. So patients who have had, for example, heart attacks in the past or who chronically have blockages of the arteries of their heart, well, the heart muscle can get weak. And if the heart weakens enough, the heart becomes susceptible to developing dangerous electrical rhythms. And if one is to have one of those rhythms without having immediate access to medical help, then one could succumb to one of those electrical rhythms. One could die from such a rhythm. What a defibrillator does is it's constantly monitoring on a beat-to-beat -beat basis the heart rhythm. And if the heart rhythm suddenly becomes abnormal, the device will detect that abnormality and will do one of two things. In some cases, it can actually pace the heart back to a normal beat. Um, and if that happens, sometimes a patient might not even feel it. Or alternatively, if the an immediate problem is too dangerous or if the device fails to pace the heart back to normal, then the device will actually shock the heart. And by shocking the heart, this tends to be a very dramatic event. So patients who remember getting shocked will say, yeah, doc, I, I felt like I got kicked in the chest by a horse, is the most common phrase people use to describe it.